we are going to discuss everything you need to do in order for you to get your husband back from the other woman not only to get him back not only to get him back but it's going to also help you to make him to love you so first thing to get your husband back from the other woman you have to stay strong be hopeful that all is going to be well that you are going to succeed and bring back your husband you don't need to give up on your marriage allowing the enemy to succeed allowing the other woman to take what does not belongs to her you don't need to feel unworthy remember that you are precious that is why he married you that is why he chose to marry you and not her yes so you are precious you are right for him there's nothing wrong with you you can and you will be happy in this marriage this marriage is not a mistake so that is the first thing i want you to know that this is your marriage this is your home and this is your husband another person doesn't have any right to come between you just as the bible says that nothing should come in between you guys so he is your husband you are not unworthy of any kind don't let any negative feelings of am i not good enough am i not worthy why is this staying with her why is this all those things are not necessary yeah and the next thing i want to point out to you is that you need to stay in this marriage you need to stay in your marriage your marriage is not a mistake Fight for what belongs to you. Don't give up. Don't allow the strange woman from nowhere to come and rip from where she did not sow. And the next thing is that you need to have it in your heart that divorce is not an option. Divorce is not an option. God does not like divorce. So you should have this in your mind that I'm not going to make divorce an option. And with this, God is going to show you the way. God is going to help you. God is going to strengthen you. And God is going to use his hand and fight this battle for you and solve this problem for you. Yes. And again, if you choose to run away from your marriage, then the other woman has won. No. How can you allow the enemy to use this woman to destroy your home? So quitting on your marriage, giving up on your marriage because of a strange woman is not the best option. And I want to ask, even if you accept divorce, even if you divorce this man to go and marry another man, what is the guarantee that that man is going to be faithful? What is the guarantee that that man will not have any problem again? My dear, there is no guarantee. So what are we saying? Just follow these things that I'm going to point out in this video. Apply it with faith and you will see this your marriage will work. This your marriage will work. Please, please don't give up. Don't just quit. You become a loser when once you quit and the strange woman becomes the winner. You know, that is what the enemy wants. The enemy wants you to lose. The enemy wants you to, to, after you have invested so much, your time, your energy, everything in this marriage, for you just to go like that, for you to go empty hand. And the worst thing, so that your children will suffer. No, no. Stand and fight for your marriage. Stand and fight for your marriage. And dear sister, the best way to fight a battle, the best way to fight for this marriage, the best way to fight the strange woman is through prayers. So how do you pray? You need to pray for your husband. Pray that God should forgive him. He is your husband. The Bible says that we should pray for our enemies and we should not curse. And this man is not your enemy. Yes, I know that he's doing things that are causing trouble in your home. He's allowing the enemy to use him to destroy the peace of your home. But that doesn't make him an enemy. He is your friend. He should be your friend. So what am I saying? You need to pray for God to forgive him. So how do you pray for him? It's not like, oh God, have you seen what he has done? Have you seen this? Have you seen that? You table keep pointing out problems no what do you do you rather pray father please forgive him 
Please forgive him for all these things he has done. And then you now present your husband to go the way you want to see your husband. Not the way he is now, not the way he used to be, but the way you want God to make him to be. I hope you understand. So that is how to pray. You need to pray with faith. You need to apply God's word that say that whatsoever you believe shall be granted unto you. I hope you understand. So present your husband to God the way you want God to make him to be. Yes, since he is going after other woman, you need to tell God from today, I see him as a faithful man. I know he's going to remain faithful. I know you are going to make him not to see any woman, not just this strange woman, any other woman, he's not going to see them again. So you need to know that you need to continue to pray and bless him because those blessings you are pouring on him is what will make him to change and become a new person and become a changed person and become the kind of man you are have ever desired him to be yes bless and don't curse if you want him to change do not curse do not keep repeating those things that he is doing because the more you dwell on those things the more you speak out those words that he is doing the more these things have a way of keep manifesting yes he will keep behaving like that because that is how you see him but if you see him in another light the light of god the faith eye yes if you see him in through the faith eye and also treat him through the faith eye you will see that god almighty will manifest your faith for you and you will start seeing your husband a different and a changed person. The next thing is that you need to always try and treat the cause. What do I mean by that? You are saying that your husband is going and he's staying with a strange woman. Sometimes he may not even stay with one. He may end up staying with as different women as possible. Now, your duty is for you to sit down and ask, what is really the cause of this? Okay, what we are saying here is that you need to look at the problem. Then when you analyze the problem, you now look at the solution. How do we tackle this problem? I hope you understand because you need to go to the roots of this problem and uproot that evil plant that the enemy have planted in your home and you will see that everything will change. So what do I mean? Look at the problem. Does it mean that your husband likes sex so much and probably the intimacy he's getting from you is not enough? Or could it be that he's just a natural womanizer? Or could it be that the environment, the intimacy level that you guys have, I'm not talking about sexual, I'm just talking about normal intimacy like friendship, he desire from you, he's not getting from you. Probably most of the time you guys always quarrel and have arguments and a lot, a lot, a lot of um, issues between you guys. Not this kind of thing can always make our men to go outside looking for comfort, looking for listening ear, looking for a shoulder to lean on. I hope you understand. So if your man is staying outside, my dear sister, sometimes it's good to sit down and ask. Just think, I know God will give you the inspiration. I know that God will show you the way. Ask, what could really cause this problem? What could really make this man to go outside? What could really make him to stay with this strange woman? Why does he choose to spend his time with this strange woman instead of spending his time at home? So, what am I saying? You need to find out what is lacking. Remember the beginning of your relationship with your husband? There was a lot of fun, a lot of love, togetherness. Then now, those things probably is no more day. It's no more day. So, find out what is the missing piece, okay? Why are those things no more in this marriage again? I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay? Then you now ask, why are we always quarreling? Okay? What is causing this quarreling? You know, when you go this, you will now identify the trigger, identify the problem, identify the reasons why you guys always have issue. And then, my dear sister, you now face the facts. 
face the problem. Find solution for it. Save your home. Don't allow the strange woman to just come and take your husband. What do I mean by that? If sex is a problem, my dear sister, look for a way. Look for how to bring back the fun moments between you and your husband. Yes, if your husband is complaining that you are oh, you are trying to control him, that you always nag, that you always make him to feel uncomfortable, my dear sister, it is time to look for another means of communication, to look for how you can speak to your husband without quarreling without fighting yes i know sometimes it may be difficult if you need help you can reach out to me just check the description of this video even comment section i'm going to leave my contacts there feel free to reach out for support i know sometimes it may be difficult so what are we saying try and tackle the problem my dear avoiding the problem avoiding the problem will never let this problem to go away no it will not instead you will keep on crying keep on discussing the problem keep on allowing the problem to magnify because the more you complain to your husband the more you cry oh i don't like the way you're cheating i don't like the way you're doing this you are destroying this marriage the way you are even discussing bringing up this conversation every minute and every second you are pushing him away because to him you are making him to feel that you are so needy and desperate and that you are trying to control him and this is the greatest fear of men they don't want to be controlled. So you need to learn how to approach him, how to make him to know that you are not the problem. Yes, you need to make him to have a different perspective of you. This is very important. So when you have discovered the problem, solve the problem and you will see that everything will go back to its place. Everything will become normal. Yes. And when once you try to tackle this problem, try to remove these things that is causing problem between you and your husband, you will see that your husband will begin to relax around you. And you will see your husband will desire to spend more time with you. And before you know it, your husband will come back to you. Yes. And the next point I want to point out is that you do not focus on this strange woman. Do not focus on this strange woman. Forget about her. She is not important. She is not the problem. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. Yes, I know that the enemy is just using her to magnify the problem in your home. But do not give her the energy. Do not give her the knife to use and pieces your marriage by focusing on her. I want you to know that the reason I'm saying this is because what you focus on most of the time manifests yes so as you are focusing on her talking about her every time praying praying about her every time instead of focusing your energy on god praying to god giving god the glory for restoring your home you are using your energy to my strange woman strange woman every time look you neglect you are trying to make her the idol of your problem as in the idol of your life by focusing on her every time instead of focusing on god when you make God the center of your life, when you pray to God all the time, God is the one to take care of these problems for you. You don't make this problem your life. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So as I was saying, what you focus on manifests. So do not give this woman the power to keep destroying your marriage by focusing your, your thought on her. What I mean by that is your negative thoughts. Yes, because you will sit down, you will imagine, oh, where is my husband? He's with her. Where are they? They, they, they have gone shopping. They are on a trip. You now live on this. Instead of you finding your energy on god and then on making yourself a better person because the more you grow and radiate the more you love yourself you have your self-awareness the more you increase your value my dear that woman can never be your competitor no so you focusing on her is keeping your mind at the wrong place 
I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yes. And not only keeping your mind at the wrong place, you also magnify this through your indwelling thoughts. As you are thinking, as you are thinking, you are thinking, you are thinking, you are using your power, the power of expectations. As you are expecting, thinking about what she's doing with your husband, thinking about what she has done, you thinking about she's using charm, she's using dust. You use the power of expectation and you manifest this negativity into your home it keep having roots you keep making her to have power over your marriage <laughs> yes that is true also the next thing you need to know that whatever that is happening now in your home is the devil's work your husband is not the problem that is why I even said that even the woman is not the problem she is just the tool that the enemy is using so you need to know the main person to tackle which is the enemy and how does the enemy have power the enemy feed on our fear on our doubt on our unbelief all those things that you dwell on when you seek to allow the negative side to grow in you instead of thinking of what you can do instead of focusing on what you can do through Christ. The word of God has given us the power that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. So what does that mean? You can make this marriage to work through Christ that strengthens you. You can. You can only if you believe. Only if you believe. I know it's difficult, but God is the God of possibility. He is going to help you and see you through if you are ready, if you are determined to take your husband back from that strange woman. She is nothing. She cannot be anything. She is not your competitor. She cannot succeed. Do not let her to succeed. Yes, don't let her win. So as I was saying, you need to know that this is a moment of trial and you cannot be a champion without a trial, okay? So for you to become a champion in the Lord, you need to buckle yourself. You need to see this as a thing that you need to tackle and win, not quitting, not running, not looking for excuses. I hope you understand. You need to become the champion that the Lord has made you to be. Please remember to like this video. So I have been talking about what you should not do. What can you now do in order for you to make your husband to love you? In order for you to make your husband to see that you are not the problem? In order for you to help your husband to relax and only desire you? I hope you understand. So what you need to do is that you need to start being nice to him. Be nice to him. What I mean by nice is not just that, oh, because you said I should be nice, let me be nice. No, be nice from your heart. Remember, this man is still your husband, okay? So if he comes around, if he comes back from work, make sure you welcome him. Make sure you offer him food, okay? Do not just say, oh, he's because he's spending time with another woman. Let that woman go and do for, for him. I hope you understand. You need to always do your part. So showing him genuine love and attention and being nice to him, making sure that the things that are important to him is important to you as a wife okay what does god want me to do to my husband that is what you need to focus your thought on while you have already allowed god to take charge of the strange woman and of the problem in your home i hope you understand and another thing that you don't need to do is that please for now try as much as you can not to criticize or condemn or complain I know, I know that those things that he's doing, he's wrong. Even him, he knows that they are wrong. So for you to, when once he comes out, you start, oh, you are coming back from that woman. I know you are coming back from that woman. Talking, 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 and shouting, and shouting. Will it solve the problem? No, it will not solve. And I know I'm not also saying that keeping quiet will solve it, okay? But what I'm trying to point out is that you cannot use fire to quench fire, okay? So criticizing complaining and condemning is not a good way to tackle a problem like that so one of the things you need to put in your heart is the love that you have for your family let the love that you have for your husband 
and for your family covers most of this wrong as at this point in time focus on i'm doing this for god i am doing this for my children i'm doing this because i love you i'm doing this because it is the right thing for me to do okay that will give you the energy to keep investing i mean keep doing what is right okay and God have a way of rewarding your effort. I'm not saying that you're just going to do those things in vain. No. The almighty God will show you that it's not going to be in vain. Because with your eyes, you'll start seeing your husband changing. He's going to change. Okay? So in everything, when your husband is sure that he is being loved, that is by loving him even from the wrong side okay from his weakness when your husband is certain okay that you love him you are not always like seeing him the worst person the bad person he will think of how to please you <laughs> i know you say hey you have said it too but it is true he's going to look for a way to reciprocate those love yes he will so when he's certain that you love him with all your heart okay unconditionally he's going to come back do you know why because even that strange woman cannot give him that kind of love you are giving him so that is why he's going to come back like a prodigal that is why i said please do not dance to the tune of the strange woman because if you start fighting your husband now you are pushing him more away to her yes so what you need to do is to start preparing your home make your own home a very welcoming environment a peaceful environment invest the love that you're supposed to invest as a good wife pray and fight the battle through prayers and through god i hope you understand and as you are preparing your home when once he go and meet the outside because the outside can never be good when once you see those things outside and he now look back he will now remember say no my home is a good place my home is a peaceful environment my home is a lovely environment even my wife love and tolerate me even my wife is taking care of me even when i'm doing wrong no let me go back home okay he's going to say yes let me go back home and that is where we want him to be. So all I'm saying is that this is also the time for you to remain pure. Do not say because my husband is doing these things, let me also do it. No, you and him, you are not in competition, okay? And if he's doing wrong, you don't need to do wrong in order to justify his wrong. I hope you understand. But rather, maintain the good side. Because the Bible says that only good can overcome evil so you use your goodness okay the light of god in you the love of god in you to overcome this wrong that the enemy planted in your home so let the light of god be seen in you through the goodness that you're investing in this marriage and that light will definitely overcome overpower the strange woman's side that light will definitely overpower the manipulation of the strange woman Yes, and you will see that the spirit of your husband looking at other women will gradually be taken away from him because when once he sees you, he will see peace, he will see love, he will see unity, he will see togetherness. So what will he be looking for outside? My dear, your husband will love you, not only that he will desire to love you, but because he's now able to trust you, he's going to relax around you and when once he relax around you he will become himself and he will love you okay and you will see that things will start growing from strength to strength your love with him will start growing from strength to strength and both of you will be doing things together working together and staying together in love and in unity and the greatest thing is that both of you will also be able to build this marriage together and in god in god making god the center of this marriage this is the key this is how it works it is not giving up on your marriage that is the way you cannot run you cannot quit and say you have had the solution no that is not the way out and let me know the kind of challenge that you are facing in your marriage in the comment section so in everything you must remain strong and come out of this trial of these challenges victoriously i want you to know that god almighty jesus christ the son of the living god loves you very much as you keep doing these things and i love you too bye bye see you in the next video